A district collector, often abbreviated to collector, is an Indian Administrative Service IAS officer in charge of revenue collection and administration of a district in India. Since district collectors are senior most executive magistrate in the district, the post is also referred to as the district magistrate, and as the office bearer works under the supervision of a divisional commissioner, the post is also known as deputy commissioner. History District administration in India is a legacy of the British Raj. District collectors were members of the Indian Civil Service and were charged with supervising general administration in the district. Warren Hastings introduced the office of the district collector in 1772. Sir George Campbell, Lieutenant Governor of Bengal from 1871 to 1874, intended to render the heads of districts no longer the drudges of many departments and masters of none, but in fact the general controlling authority over all departments in each district." The office of a collector during the British Raj held multiple responsibilities. As collector, he was the head of the revenue organization, charged with registration, alteration, and partition of holdings, the settlement of disputes, the management of indebted estates, loans to agriculturists, and famine relief. As district magistrate, he exercised general supervision over the inferior courts and in particular, directed the police work. The office was meant to achieve the peculiar purpose of collecting revenue and of keeping the peace. The superintendent of police SP, inspector general of jails, the surgeon general, the divisional forest officer DFO, and the chief engineer CE, had to inform the collector of every activity in their departments. Until the later part of the 19th century, no native was eligible to become a district collector. But with the introduction of open competitive examinations for the Indian civil service, the office was open to natives. Anandaram Barua, an eminent scholar of Sanskrit and the sixth Indian and the first Assamese ICS officer, became the third Indian to be appointed a district magistrate, the first two being Romesh Chandra Dutt and Sripad Babaji Thakur respectively. The district continued to be the unit of administration after India gained independence in 1947. The role of the district collector remained largely unchanged, except for the separation of most judicial powers to judicial officers of the district. Later, with the promulgation of the National Extension Services and Community Development Program by the Nehru government in 1952, the district collector was entrusted with the additional responsibility of implementing the Government of India's development programs in the district. Posting They are posted by the state government, from among the pool of Indian Administrative Service IAS officers, who either are on level 11 or level 12 of the pay matrix, in the state. The members of the IAS are either directly recruited by the Union Public Service Commission or promoted from Provincial Civil Service PCs. The direct recruits are posted as collectors after five to six years of service, whereas the promoted members from state civil services generally occupy this post after promotion to the IAS, which generally happens after two decades of service. A district magistrate and collector is transferred to and from the post by the state government. The office bearer is generally of the rank of joint secretary to the state government equivalent to deputy secretary in Government of India. Functions and responsibilities The responsibilities assigned to a district magistrate vary from state to state, but generally, district collectors are entrusted with a wide range of duties in the jurisdiction of the district, generally involving the following As district magistrate Conducts criminal court of executive magistrate Maintenance of law and order Supervision of the police and jails Supervision of subordinate executive magistracy and conduct magisterial inquiries. Hearing cases under the preventive section of the Criminal Procedure Code. Supervision of jails and certification of execution of capital sentences. Prepares panel of names for appointment of public prosecutors and additional public prosecutors with consultation with session judge in district. Arbitrator of land acquisition. Disaster management during natural calamities such as floods, famines or epidemics. Crisis management during riots or external aggression, as collector conducts revenue court. Land assessment 
Land acquisition Collection Collection of income tax dues, excise duties, irrigation dues etc. Distribution of agricultural loans Chairman of the District Bankers Coordination Committee Head of the District Industries Centreas Deputy Commissioner, District Commissioner Reports to Divisional Commissioner on all matters, as District Election Officer Conducts elections in the district, be it general, assembly or municipal. Acts as the returning officer for the Lok Sabha constituency in the district. A district magistrate is assisted by some IAS and PCs for carrying out day to day work in various fields. Chief Development Officer CDO or District Development Officer DDO. Chief Revenue Officer CRO or District Revenue Officer DRO. Additional District Magistrates ADM North, West, East, South, E Executive, F, R Finance and Revenue, City, Judicial City Magistrate CM and Additional City Magistrates ACM I, 2, 3, I, V, 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 7, 8, X, X Sub-Divisional Magistrates SDM or Deputy Collectors DC and other Executive Magistrates other officers from other departments at the district level also report to him, her. See also